The Morning Dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your food man. That's what I am. It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. <laughs> And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're back with you. We got uh, Gigi Ernetta on with us, and she has been in numerous movies, Flags of Our Fathers, our New Mexico, Roswell, New Mexico, and uh, not to mention The Purge. Good morning. Television and theater, too. Yeah, good morning, girl. (laughs) Good morning. How are you? Well, we're up and rolling. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Hey, what what time is you it? You got your here? mask on? Yeah, no. You got your mask on right now? Uh-huh. <laughs> I, look, I'm a garbage man and a school bus driver. I'm immune to this stuff. It can't take me down. <laughs> so now where are you, where are you oh, calling goodness. from? Are you in, you in Hollywood or where are you at? Um, right now I'm in a bunker in Texas. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> a <laughs> bunker? <laughs> <laughs> not really. It's not a bunker, but it sort of is. Okay, I'm a little bit of a, of a prepper nut. What can I say? Well, hey, I'm uh, with yeah, you. Yeah, for now... I'm, I'd say you was in the purge. Just prepper stuff, though. You know, you talk about that. I'm kind of with you. I mean, it seems like the end of the world is here, man. I mean, you wake up in the oh, morning, yeah. there's just more and more and more gloom and doom and all that going on. But see, this is why I don't like to do, like, things that are very dark. Like, see, when I did the purge, and I have to tell you, it was a lot of fun. Right. But, you know, now it's manifesting. <laughs> that, that's the scary thing. Well, I'm ready because I, I got lots of practice. <laughs> so. Well, that's the whole thing. You know, a lot of these movies they do, and then it seemed like all this stuff. So maybe our got a crystal ball out there can tell the future or something. Because, I mean, that, you, know. you know what? The deep state may very well be in Hollywood. I'm, I'm pretty certain of that there's definitely some of that going on. <laughs> Golly. Well, what you're saying, though, about man manifesting something, I mean, if you focus on something long enough, you can make it happen. I don't right. Know. Well, at least I'm on Roswell now. There you so go. So crazy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you. There's go. an alien right here. You need to get up here to North Georgia and meet Steven. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now, you've been on a lot of cool stuff. Lynn, i got to ask you, though. I mean, you know, I, uh, you was on with William Devane. How is he to be to work with? You know, I I really like him. And it was interesting because when I, when I worked with him, I got the call that I got was, hey, how do you how do you feel about William Devane playing your father? And I had always I had it on my bucket list because I love Twenty Four, right. and I love the relationship that he had with his daughter on Twenty Four. And I always thought well, that would be the coolest thing to work with him as a father. So it kind of blew me away that that, that was even a question. Um, he's a very giving actor, and uh, he's just awesome. He's an awesome human being. He's a, he's the like so, and he he kind of has a bunker thing going on too. I think I need so. to get me a bunker. I don't be left out. I- <laughs> I ain't got a bunker. <laughs> when I say bunker, I mean, you know, kind of like a ranch house. But, yeah, he's out there. He's telling us stories about how he drives 80 miles, I think it is, to get gas. Oh, so, yeah. Lord. Ooh, My car wouldn't there. make it. I don't get about four miles a gallon of the thing I drive. Sounds like West Texas. Right? Hey, I wonder what he's driving. <laughs> so, he's, yeah, uh, so he's really nice. He's a cool bad guy, though. He's a cool bad guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I oh, like yeah. him in the movie. But he was a nice guy in this one. Yeah. I don't want to put any. You haven't seen the movie. It's the flag of my father. Uh, no spoiler alert, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But, yeah, he's really nice. And, I, you know, I worked with John Schneider, so uh, he was not very nice. I mean, he was nice as a person, but his character was, was not, not nice. nice. Yeah, John needs yeah, to be. Yeah, you want to see, see him in a, in a role where he's nasty. He's pretty good and nasty in that one. Really? I never took him for being. Well, they say the nicest people make the best bad guys. Yeah. So I'd probably make yeah. a good bad guy. I'm like super uh, nice. So, uh, Gigi Stevens had a couple of roles in sort of movies and plays. They're all death scenes that last about 30 seconds. Is there any hope for him? I die good, girl. Are you kidding? <laughs> Do you really? Oh. So you know how to take a squib and all that? Well, no. I don't know nothing about all that. Okay. <laughs> it was a low-budget film, and I actually was, uh, I rented some cars to him because I got a bunch of junk cars, and one of my cars was tore up, so I was working on it, and they needed a guy to die, and they're like, hey, you're perfect. Will you work for free? And I said, okay, cool. 
There you go. There well, you, you go. know, that's how it starts. Yeah. That's how it starts. Yeah. I mean, did they have you resurrected? Was it a zombie film when you died? Did no, you get back it was, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Well, now. it seemed a little bit like a zombie because you kept popping back up. And that's the thing. Doing I kept, a death I died, rattle. And then I'd wake back up. i say, tell my mom I love her. And I'd fall back down. And they'd say, no, cut, cut, cut. You can't do that. You can't do that. But uh, what was the name? Oh, I yeah, can't you remember. couldn't talk. Yeah. No, <laughs> I actually walked out and got a shotgun out of a truck. And next thing, I'm sitting in a chair with my throat cut so that's pretty yeah, much it yeah yeah it's probably not a good idea yeah so. uh, the prop guy didn't like you very much i'm sure uh, that was a lot of fun though we had a lot of fun doing it yeah but uh what i can't even remember the name it's out right now it's on netflix and all that stuff but uh, they shot it here in Iowa. See, a lot of movies been have you shot any movies in georgia have you been this way the devil to pay the devil to pay that's it the devil to pay God. uh yeah um i i'm actually coming up there to film I'm, you know i'm under so many non non-disclosures that i can't like you know but i'm actually coming back right so I'm going to be filming uh, in, well, who knows with pandemic stuff, but right. uh, February, March time frame. Yeah, I'll be back up there. So I'm looking forward to it. I have lots of friends there. So. You don't know what part yeah. of the state you're going to be in? Uh, in the Atlanta, you know, metro somewhere, okay. unless they change it. Because I know they're fixing to start a, another movie up here in about three or four weeks. They've been talking. So I don't know. I think it's low budget, but anything. But you've had a great, I mean, you was in uh, a lot of different flags of a father, but the, the purge, so that was a lot of fun doing that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they give you weapons every night. I mean, the only <laughs> bad thing is that it was 107 during the day at Louisiana. And at night, you know, when it's that hot during the day, the mosquitoes come out at night and they eat you alive. Oh, Lord, so, yeah. But luckily, they don't like me. So that's a, that wasn't my first rodeo there. I've been uh, actually shot a movie in, in the swamp where I was wearing like boots and everything. And uh, I was like the only person who didn't get bit by mosquitoes there. Mosquitoes. And they, I mean, they had the lights. Sorry? They're like bats down there. The mosquitoes are huge. Oh yeah, and, and when you're in the when you're in that area and it's dark at night in a swamp and they turn the lights on, mosquitoes will literally fly into your mouth. Oh yeah. Ugh. So I, I rarely ever yeah like you're not supposed to, as an actor you know yell cut on it. But I mean I had to because mosquitoes were trying to fly into my mouth when I was talking and I was like that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it. I draw the line. They taste like chicken. They taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so so yeah. So the purge uh, was a lot of fun. It had hits uh, ups and downs, you know, with the, the heat and everything. But right. it was a lot of fun, and um, and I was really blessed. Like right after that, um, you know, things started picking up until we had a pandemic. Oh, everybody, what are you doing? I mean, now you're you're in your bunker, though. But I mean, you know, you're an actress, and and nothing's going on. So I mean, you just, I mean, what, what's your day hold? I mean, you get up and clean house well, and well, go that, back to bed. That's the crazy. That's the crazy thing. Well, the pandemic, the way I got bookended, I was already working uh, on Roswell, and then Roswell picked up again. So I didn't suffer as bad as a lot of the people, you know, a lot of, a lot of other actors. But in the in the middle time. I finished my second script. My first movie I made was called Crossed. I actually produced it and wrote it and everything. That was a long time ago. Right. And I was kind of, um, I was kind of, I ran from it because my distributor stole a lot of money. So I didn't want to do that again, but then I got inspired. So I'm now almost finished. I'm cleaning up the dialogue on my second film and it's comedy. Oh. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and also I've been coaching students, people that want to, you know, at all levels of acting uh, by Zoom. So I've been really blessed because I've been able to kind of pour back out. Well, that's so good that you're doing that. I know Burt yeah. Reynolds was good about, you know, he had his own little thing going where he actually helped a lot of the actors. So on your comedy, let me ask you something about comedy. I mean, you know, is it hard? Look to me like comedy. You write this joke and then these folks are got to get out and perform it. Is that hard to perform? Well, we're going to find out. I laughed through it. I snorted through it. I was laughing so hard. So I hope that other people enjoy it. Um, it yeah, it's hard. I mean, for me, I would rather, I love comedy. I'd rather do comedy. I don't care how, how difficult it is. You know, I, I worked with Second City, and um, I was really blessed while I was there. And I was, you know, I went through the whole program. And wow. then in the middle of that, I ended up getting hooked up uh, on, a, on a show called The Soap Also Rises. And basically, we had these amazing guests. We had um, Martin Short and I got to work. That was my first, oh, that was cool. the first freshman of the whole troop and they threw me to the wolf right away but we had a standing ovation you know i i like the pressure i like that right. um the pressure that comes with being on you know improv live with a with a lion <laughs> that was fun so you know 
uh, Fred Willard was there, Catherine O'Hare. Uh, we just had amazing guests come in. And it was it was really like probably one of my favorite things about uh, about my career. And then I got blessed on Veep. Most of the people I noticed on Veep were also Second City, and they and on Veep they they are the writers are just they're brilliant, yeah. and they change everything. You can be in front of the camera, and they're like, hmm, why don't you try this? Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're in a different place, and it's challenging but a whole lot of fun. And I, and they they played with me, boy. They gave me tongue twisters in front of the camera. I'm like, I hope I, this comes out right in English. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's a blast. But you know, I like the I like the old comedy. You know, I like the uh, Dean Martin and uh, I don't know that kind of oh, stuff. Sure. You know, I think that's fun. Yeah, you yeah. know, and some of the stuff now is kind of like vulgar comedy. I'm not into that much. You know, I don't care for that. No, yeah. no, and I mean, and I like everything from Doris Day to Lucy. Oh Lord, to yeah, Lucy. Carol Burnett. I mean, that stuff. Oh, is Carol good. Burnett yeah. was so the best. So there's some of that in my movie. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So now when you, it's I mean, clean. It's a clean movie. That's it's a, a family friendly kind of thing. I'm. I'm that's where I'm. I'm kind of steering, steering the ship. Well, I should say the Lord is steering the ship. I'm going that way. There you go. Um, so, I'm, yeah, it's going to be good. I think to kind of uh, clean up, clean up some things. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing. You know, a lot of the movies. Uh, you know, I watch a lot of stuff like everybody else. You know, because there ain't nothing else to do. You know, and 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 you you're watching a, a really good show on TV, and then all of a sudden it's got this vulgar sex scene, which don't even belong. You know, it's like. But why, right. why they even put it in there, you know? And it's like, okay, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. But uh, To get that, that R rating, I guess? I don't know. Uh -huh. it's... Yeah, you know, and that's the thing. I, when I was getting to the end, of, I won't tell you the whole story, but when I get to the end, of there's a um, the scene in the, in the very end. It's like I'm struggling. I don't want any guns to be, like, a thing in this, at least. So I, there are guns in my movie, but they don't, you know, nothing happens. There's, there's not any crazy violence or right. anything. Um, I actually have uh, karate in my, you know, well, different versions of karate at the very end of it. Well, so now, if you need anybody in your movie to Judy Chop, I'm a good Judy Chopper. I can Judy Chop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or, or to die. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Actually, I have donuts in my movie. I mean, are you good, you good at making donuts? I'm good at eating them. <laughs> there you go. That and potted meat and spam do you like potted meat and spam in your bunker you gotta have potted meat and spam if you're oh make my it. gosh the things i have the thing i don't have is i, I need my own dunkin donuts within the compound like uh, that's what i need because <laughs> i love boston cream yeah and um yeah it's it's uh it's hard when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you want you all of a sudden have a craving like that but Jeez. yeah things I'm, are changing i hope i hope this is temporary very temporary I don't know. You know, everybody thought that 2021 is just going to be a flip of a switch and everything's going to be great, but no. I ain't seen a whole lot no. of change over the last few days. Nah. I so, was hiding under a rock going, is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> so Sherry and I are always talking about movies. What's your favorite movie of all time? You're not going to probably. Well, I have two. I have two categories. All right. So, I'm gonna, let me guess. Give me a guess. Number one is Smokey uh, and the Bandit. No. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me guess. Okay, big fish. No, no, somewhere in time. Somewhere in time. Okay, that's oh, a cool. That's, that's a good like movie. My, that's, yeah, that's like I love time. And so going uh, along those themes is there's a theme here. I'm Terminator. Is that Jane Seymour? Oh, you like Terminator too? I love Terminator. Yeah, and it's so funny because I feel like we're living it again. Yeah, time yeah. travel. Everything to do with time travel, I really enjoy. And, I think and, Elon Musk and this, I really need to work together. And this, so I would assume, like, Sherry and I both agree on this, and you probably do too, Nicolas Cage is great, greatest actor <laughs> no, wait, of wait, all time. wait, that's you, Packy. Right? That's all you, Packy. <laughs> uh, he carries around a photograph of Nicolas Page or Cage everywhere he goes. He's It's kind of really? weird. It's weird. Yeah. And so, when, so when you were younger, did you have his picture in your room? Yes, he did. On the wall, yes, she did. The poster? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He did. Or is that now? He still has it. It's yeah. right next to my Justin Bieber poster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he signed it himself. <laughs> yeah. You signed it yourself? Wow. Yeah, he's a weird dude. I mean, he's all right on occasion, but yeah, he's definitely not a prepper, I can tell you that. <laughs> now, on the other hand, Stephen, who has 550,000 cans of Spam there stacked up in his back room, is prepped. You, you know what? He's ready. I'm ready. ready. That's amazing. Everybody be wanting some That's Spam one of these days. And he I've actually got, got a letter from Armour. Uh, what did they send Hormel. you? Hormel, but it's armor company, sending you socks and all kinds of little goodies for representing. Yeah, them. I'm sponsored by Spam, so you know. <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm at the top. Are you, or do you have stock in Spam? No, I ain't got stock in nothing. Are you kidding? I'm broke. I don't even know what stock is. 
I see, I see. All right, well, yeah. you do have good water, though, right? Oh, Lamar? yes, ma'am. We've got the water up here. We're in the North Georgia mountains. I tell everybody where we're at. This is the way you can find it. The Appalachian Trail ends right here in our backyard. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so Actually, in North beautiful. Carolina. In the Blue Ridge Mountains of Georgia, that's where we're at. The highest mountain in the state of Georgia is right here, and it's beautiful up here. It is absolutely oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. It is gorgeous up there. Yep. I, that's the place to be. You've got it made. Yeah, and there's a lot of folks come here that's got houses, you know, that uh, during the summertime or vacation houses, that's, you know, uh, John Travolta comes here all the time. He comes over to Brastown Valley Resort continuously. It's a, It's a neat place. Are you in the county where you have to have a gun if you go in, or is that a separate? Is that a different? Place? No, that's down. That's uh, down. That's down next to where you're going to be in Kennesaw. But we're uh, yeah. But you're welcome Kennesaw. to carry a gun here. It's not a problem. Yeah, nobody cares. Oh well, that's good news, and yeah. I won't get arrested. That's no, good. you'll no. be fine. You'll fit right it's in an open here. Open carry state. So, what kind of gun do you carry? Do you got like a big old gun, or you got a little gun? <laughs> yeah, I've got one. I can send you a picture. Uh, uh, it's funny. My grandfather. My uh, I have a. Don't laugh, okay? Because it's it's kind of antiquated, but. I have a double barrel over under yeah. oh, that nice. my grandfather yeah that my grandfather used to shoot so it's a family heirloom but I won't go into the arsenal just that's the main one that I like well that is a sweet um, sweet sweet gun it is and my husband always thinks it's funny he tells the rest of the family hey just uh, make sure you you call before you come in she shoots through the door there you go <laughs> so. well good for you good for you. <laughs> Well, we got to get to a break, young lady. I sure do appreciate you calling. You're very interesting. You are nothing like what I thought you would be like. I mean, honestly, you're, you're like one of us. <laughs> Rut row. Yeah. That's good, I hope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I hope I, get, hope I get to talk to you guys again when I'm up there filming. Sounds yeah, good. yeah, give us Sounds a holler. Good. Shoot you. We'll, we'll, we'll take you out for supper. You know what supper is, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, supper. That's Y'all call it dinner. <laughs> we call it supper. Maybe we can get you. Maybe we can get you some of that. Uh, you can come and, and die again or something. There you go. There we are. I'm good at it. I'm telling you, I'm good at it. And I'm cheap. That's the main thing, I think, that's in the business. You yeah, are that, cheap. They love that. Yeah, they like the cheap part. You're cheap, for sure. <laughs> yep, so anyway. Hey, listen. Well, thank girl. you for having me. Yeah, we'll You're get welcome. you back. Yep, that was great. I appreciate it. Thank you for listening. This is Stephen Phillips, host of The Morning Dish. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a lot more interviews out there to listen to. Plus, you can listen online every morning at WJULradio.com or Lake 97.7 WJUL. And give us a like on our Facebook page, The Morning Dish.